Hello everyone and welcome back to Brackets Academy. In this video I'll be showing you guys how you can control an Arduino board with JavaScript, particularly with Johnny5. You will learn how to get started with Johnny5 and we'll create uh, a short code for controlling an LED. In our case it's going to be blinking and pulsing. Before we start writing code we need to make sure we have Node.js installed and uh, if you don't, if you guys don't have Node.js, head over to this link. I'll also leave a link down in the description where you can install Node for your uh, operating system. And also, we're going to need the Arduino IDE. I'll also leave a link down in the description for this. After you guys are done with installing Node.js and Arduino IDE, we can start with uh, creating the Arduino environment so we can code with Johnny5. To get Arduino running with Johnny5, we'll need to upload the standard Firmata Plus from our Arduino IDE into our Arduino board. So first thing, we need to make sure that in Tools, Ports, our uh, Arduino port is selected here. And then we go to File, Examples, Firmata, and choose standard Firmata Plus. So now that we got this here, we need to upload it to our board. So click Upload and wait for that to finish. After it's done uploading, there's one last bit we need to do, and that is to install uh, Johnny5 module. So go ahead and run npm install Johnny5. Then create a file. I will call it controller.js and here we're going to write our Johnny5 uh, code. For this example we're going to create a blinking LED. Let's require the, the Johnny5 library. Next let's create a new 5 board. So var board equals new 5.board and next let's create a board on ready uh, function. So board.on ready And inside here, we're going to create a uh, LED component instance. So let's go ahead and create a variable LED equals new 5 dot LED. And we're going to put it in pin number 13. So one leg of the LED will go to the pin number 13 on the Arduino and the other leg will go in the grounding. And uh, let's make the LED blink. So we're going to go LED dot blink. And here, in this parenthesis, we can put it for how many milliseconds we want the LED to blink. So let's go for one second. So every one second, the LED is going to blink. And uh, now let's run this code. And it's working. I have my Arduino next to me, and I can see the LED is uh, flashing. I'll probably put a video somewhere so you can see that as well. Now let's try the uh, pulsing LED. Uh, but for the pulsing LED, we will need uh, to change the legs of our LED into a PWN uh, style pin on our Arduino. And PWN stands for uh, Pulse Width Modulation. So this will allow us for the uh, LED uh, to fade in and fade out. So we're going to go ahead and write this right now. Again, uh, var led we're creating the instance new 5.led i'm going to set the pin 11 this time and then after that we're going to go led.pulse and also we can create a timeout function here for example after a certain amount of time the led to stop pulsing so let's do that this dot wait so let's wait for five seconds function and we're going going to stop the LED so LED dot stop dot off and we're gonna turn it off we're gonna save that and we're gonna try and run it to our Arduino and it's working I'll probably put a video of this again somewhere Thank you everyone for watching this video uh, if you want to learn more check out the links down in the description and uh, make sure you like share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one